Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube, man? Y'all already know the vibes. Only the strong survive, and we back with another Madden 22 video. And this will be the last official head-to-head -head Madden 22 video for me. Y'all know we got, like, six days left until Madden 23 come out. So this will be the last official online head-to-head -head Madden 22 gameplay for me. Y'all see me next time in Madden 23. Not next video, but as far as, like, a Madden online head-to-head, y'all -head, get... Madden 23 when that come out, so Yeah, but before we get into this online head to head, I got quick shout outs to give so Shout out to Jordan Manning and Turtle Anastasio for commenting on my last couple videos I appreciate y'all for that if you want a shout out comment on my videos You can get a shout out in the next video if I haven't already recorded and everything So let's get into it So as y'all can see we already got JK Dobbins breaking it back on the run play second play of the game for us And already that was like what like a 75 yard run and yeah, I can't wait to, in Madden 23 to go crazy with the Ravens, man. We got, you know, we got Lamar. I don't even know what he, we got Rashad Bateman and stuff. Where, you know, they are running teams, so we're going to, you know, read option in here, running with JK. J, JK is actually off his um his injury, so we good with that now. So, because like this year in Madden, Madden 22, we had to work, I had to work with like Gus Edwards, I think, because JK was injured for the whole season. So, you know, they do updated rosters. But yeah, it's gonna be fun in Madden 23. I can't wait for it. Right here, we got J.K. on a swing route, picking it up about almost 40 yards or so, 30 yards. And yeah, y'all, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about Madden 23, which I'm excited for. Y'all can let me know if y'all even thinking about even buying the game. Me personally, I already got mine pre-ordered. So yeah, I'm ready to go. Third and ten, we dropping back with Lamar. We got Andrews over the middle, Juke the first defender. Let's get it. We on the 16. And this opponent right here, he was actually good. Right here, I wanted to run the ball, but I see he got that box stack. So right here, I do a couple audibles. And I got these these triple slants going on, so I just flipped the play. And I could easily tell that he was in man, man coverage. And that's touchdown all day. Even if it wasn't, like, you know, fully stacked, I still was going to understand that he was probably, like, in man or something. So we got that right there. Second and inches, we up by a touchdown now. But yeah, like this guy, he was okay in the beginning of the game. But like after halftime, I just kind of took off. Right here, he got me deep down the field. And I could tell that he must have been like sort of practicing some of this stuff because he wasn't, he didn't seem like he was doing stuff like this on a regular. Like he had one play where he had a corner route and he was beating me with that a lot. Yeah, so right here, I can see I was about to run the ball again, but the box was stacked. So I go to my slant, switch to play and everything. I know he in man. And, and he's like, just pick your poison at this point. I probably wasn't even man, but I just knew that the slant, he was going to have to either pick his poison, which slant he wanted to cover. Right here, we get a read option with Lamar. Juke the first defender. Second guy, I don't know why he diving. When we get out of bounds. And like, yo, play, like I rarely ever play against the Ravens because I use them a lot on head-to-head. -head. But the times that I've played against the Ravens, it is almost annoying. Especially when it's somebody that just constantly run with Lamar. Me, I don't actually, I don't constantly run with Lamar. I actually use him, like, strategically. Like, because everybody's going to know that you're going to try to run every single time. So, you know, if you run hit, run the ball with your running back, or if you do play action or just regular passing, they eventually might... Forget about Lamar. You can might get a quick couple yards with him and break break four fin goal. This was a crazy play right here. I was surprised I even got the touchdown. I got both feet in and Marquise held on to it, so that's lit. We up twenty one to fourteen. And yeah, and like after halftime, y'all see how I just take off on him right here. He tried to get me deep down the field, but we wasn't having that lockups. Yeah, I had to make some adjustments to my zone drops. My um. Like my hard flats, I believe I had dropped those to like 20 or 30 because he kept doing a corner route with his tight end. And yeah, so I just basically kind of took that away and just was running about deep down the field with Amari. Right here, he picked up the first with Ezekiel Elliott. First and 10 coming out in a no huddle. We in cover three. 115 left. And like, you just, you see what I mean? Like, he, he that's kind of his concept he's been trying to do the whole game or mostly the whole game. He had like that corner route, and then he had Amari over the top, so he'd just choose whichever one is open. But eventually, I kind of got a hold of, of it, 
And right here, look, he had the corner route again, and he scored the touchdown on it. But, like, after halftime, I kind of figured it out and locked it up. And, yeah, that was it. So, first and ten read option with Lamar. He wanted to take the run, so we're going to get this run with Lamar. We get, like, almost, like, 50 yards or so. First and ten, tied up 20-21. 21 to 21 like right now. This is a close game as I can see this is a close game I try to break free with Lamar again. We don't get too many too much yards 45 seconds left in a second. I see Andrews coming across the middle So I just patiently wait for him and that's easy money, bro. Like that play right there. I Get so many touchdowns with that play is ridiculous first and ten he getting out the pocket with Prescott and see it like again, bro that corner out. He was like the first half. He was just killing me with that. But after half, I kind of locked it up right here. I'm anticipating that corner out again, and he throw it, and I actually get the pick with Chuck Clark. I almost thought he was gonna say I was out of bounds, but I got it. So we're on our own seven. I see Marquise is then pressed, or he's pressed against Trevon Diggs. So I just put him on a fade route and just throw it up there. Marquise went and got it. Easy touchdown. He's way too fast for Trevon Diggs. And we score again right before the half. Now just pay attention to this kickoff right here, bro. Did see EA would never let me get away with something like this. So kick him off the ball. He just stands there. Now he moves, he does a spin move. And now everybody is out of place. He can't make a play on it. And he get like one of the, the luckiest touchdowns. Like I could never probably pull that off with EA. So I was upset about that. I was like, if I happen to lose this game, that's a big game changer because he should not have got that touchdown. But it is what it is. We got the ball back. I see Andrews on that corner route wide open. He should have stiffed on him, but we got some yards. It don't matter. We in field goal range if needed. We up by a touchdown. Coming out in the read option. We're going to hand it off to JK. And yeah, y'all let me know in the comments how y'all liking these videos. This year, I started, like I said, in one of my other videos. I started midway in Madden 22, so I didn't even start in the beginning of the year. And I made some nice progress. Y'all showed mad support on my videos. I appreciate that. Y'all definitely seem interested in them. So Madden 23, we got big things coming. And yeah, so right here, he tried to throw deep down the field. I got the pick with Chuck Clark, and we almost took it back. Like, long if, if we didn't have Ezekiel Elliott to worry about, we could have been out of there. Dak Prescott got me out of there, out of bounds. But it is what it is. Hand that off to J.K. Dobbins. Pick up some yards. And yeah, and it's around this point where, you know, things got ugly. Like, like I said, after half, we got ugly form. I just ran the score up. We up 45 to 28. And this kickoff right here was the deal breaker for him. Pretty much. He ran pretty much. He um got a safety. Like, I don't know. what. He, I guess he was trying to get it to be a touchback. And it didn't work out, so he ended up picking it up, and we got a safety. So now it's 47 to 28, and we got the ball, so we just going, you know, run it, get into the fourth quarter. But he, you know, he was sick of it. So if y'all enjoyed this video, y'all like this video, make sure y'all like it, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all for the support, and we out, man. See y'all in the next video. Peace.